It's a record 100 ships sit waiting to enter just two California ports, and more are due to arrive in just a few days. Epic worldwide shipping crunch. Our new series, GMA Supply Solutions, looks at this supply chain strain affecting everything from holiday shopping to everyday goods and services. Lara, I know you have more for us. I do indeed, Robin. Good morning to you. And we have our GMA panel joining us with the lowdown on what's happening and the shopping strategies you should know about. ABC News Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis, ABC News Consumer Correspondent Becky Worley, and GMA E-Commerce Editor Tori Johnson all with us, the dream team to solve this for shoppers. <laughs> I want to start with you, Rebecca. What is causing this? So this goes back a long time, Lara, back to the beginning of the pandemic when everything shut down, factories all over the world weren't working, but Americans were sitting on their couches and they started shopping and they started buying so much stuff. And suddenly there was this giant backlog because Factories hadn't created items. People weren't working. There weren't enough people to bring the items to our homes and to homes across the world. And now we find ourselves in the most important season of all. It is the holiday shopping season when we buy more stuff than ever. Not enough stuff has been created. It's sitting in those backlogs. You see those cargo ships Robin just talked about. Mm -hmm. It's waiting to get into stores and there isn't enough of it as it stands. Right, so what should consumers expect moving forward? It's gonna be a tough holiday season. A a lot of big retailers like Target and Home Depot have commissioned their own cargo ships to bring this stuff from all over the world into their stores. But medium, small size retailers, they don't have that kind of control. And a lot of them are telling me they're getting cancellations for orders that were supposed to come in November. They're being told it's not coming till February. Wow. Well, try and buy that for Christmas. Right, absolutely. Well, Becky, that's why we have you here. What can consumers do? What can shoppers do as we head into the holidays? Well, Lara, if you've got to have it, let's start with how you find it. Many big chains like Best Buy, Target, they may be sold out of an item online. But remember, that's the stock they have in their online warehouse. Every store, though, is a mini warehouse. So the item you want could be sitting on a shelf somewhere. So first tip, use the tools on their website to select pick up and store and then just keep changing the location to see if it's anywhere around you. But a big caveat before you drive a long distance, call to mm -hmm. make sure the item is actually there. My feeling about website stock accuracy. It's a little like U.S. foreign policy in the 80s. Trust, but verify. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice reference there. Are there uh, any items that are easier to get right now than others? Some that we should just say, you know what, forget it. Well, this time of year, it's all about tech and anything with a computer chip, ugh, yikes. Uh, so let's talk about tech. Start with apps that check stock from big stores. I tried one called Hot Stock, and it told me the Xbox Series S gaming console was unavailable at Target and Walmart, but in stock at Microsoft, Best Buy, and Newegg. So the PS5 gaming console, ugh, there's now a registry where you have to sign oh up for goodness. even a chance at incoming stock, Larry. It's kind of a mess. Wow, time to get handy with the DIY <laughs> or do. Tori, you know what? You've been talking about small businesses for 10 years now on Deals and Steals. Now more than ever, this is the time to celebrate those small businesses, right? Shop local. Shop small, shop local if you can. I also, you know, I talk to small business owners, Lara, every single day, and they're concerned, obviously. You know, they're wondering, what they can do mm -hmm. and the first is like constant communication they have to be in touch with the shipper they have to be in touch with their retail partners with really up-to-date information and then they can take some matters into their own hands focus on some of the things that they can control themselves because they cannot control this mess mm -hmm. so for example if a retailer is going to cancel an order and you know that you've got goods you have to move you can look at local pop-ups trunk shows things that you can do locally to move merchandise um, there there's opportunities such as cross promotion. I sell shoes, you sell shirts. Let's cross promote each other as small businesses. And most importantly, I would say leverage social media. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook all have tools to sell. Go directly to sell to consumers. And if you're a consumer, follow the brands and the stores that you love on social media. I was going to just say, because they, this is a great opportunity for local businesses, but if they don't have the merchandise because of the supply chain shortage, they're in the same boat. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But a lot of them are concerned they're going to get their inventory late and stores will have canceled their orders and they've got to sell. Right. So right. that's where social media right. can And help. we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep giving tips to our viewers. Thank you, guys. This was great. And we'll have more of our GMA Supply Solutions throughout the week to help you get through the holiday season. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.